Half the nobles of Ringford support Melvin, and the other half is undecided. Melvin has occupied the palace and is sending troops to capture the queen. Though we are few, we are soldiers who are loyal to Queen Alfaria's daughter. It seems that some have locked themselves into a wing of the palace to fight. Can anyone do anything? Please, do something! You are so spoiled. You always assume that somebody will come along to take care of things for you. This will be difficult. If you want to be queen, you must take the lead, or no one will follow. Frog, you're... <sighs> you're exactly right. I will return to the palace. Those who will fight alongside me, come on! The clans are march against the law. Bagpipers play the tunes of war. Death or glory I will find. Rebellion on my mind. Welcome back to Let's Play Odin's Fairy. <laughs> Impromptu singing. Anyway. Mama's being a little shit, we gotta put him in his place as the... Because, once again, Mother likes us best. Ooh, we already get the map really nice. Okay, good. Leveled up a little bit, as you can see. Well, more than a little bit. Over here. Got this, uh... Potion Eye Ice Spirits. Works the same way as Fire Spirits, just make them three little things, but they're ice instead of fire. Let's see a couple shops over here. I don't think they... Don't think they sell anything really. I know one of them has plot, so I'll be hitting one of them up. But for now, go to the right. There's also at least two new recipes down here. Do -do -do. Are you wearing shoes or am I just No, I think you're I think you're barefoot. Though why would a fairy need shoes for? Even though the qu late Queen Alfaria had them. I don't know, I think if you're like Princess of the Fairies, maybe it's like a status thing. Like, I, I protect my feet because I need strong feet to lead my people. But then again, she's kind of unsure as of right now. She's still kind of, eh, I don't want to. Dude. You no, know, she's been kind of thrown into this position against her will a little bit. And she's... Does, lacks the maturity to be ready for it, and then, well, the frog has been very helpful to us, and kind of avoided all our the rest of our troops just ditching us and being like, well, now we're not gonna follow you. Anyway, a nice uh, mulberry tarts, egg and two mulberries, just leave one to over ripen. It's another takeout um, item. Over there, the right to the shop. We don't need to hit that up. I'm gonna go straight up. But uh, yeah, the mulberry tart. 800 experience, 700 HP. You get a tart that eats twice. So that's like total 1600, 1400 experience. 1600 experience, 1400 health rather. And uh, a ginger cookie like the one recipe we did before. Some little gingerbread person. She doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Ooh, I can see treasure. I get all the money I can. Oop. She's good in air, eventually I am gonna have to... Well... By eventually, I mean right then and there. Before I even finish my damn sentence. Wish she could reload in the air too, that's the only thing. But if you're gonna give her air superiority, let her do more than just shoot things. I can do the charge shot from up there. Ooh, I can fire down too, okay. I wanted to. I just was curious to see if I could do shit like that. All right, so where to? Actually, I gotta go to that second shop because there's plot over there. So, 
Let's lay the smack down on this boss here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's a fast jumper. Reload, reload. Lethal enforcers. Damn it. Something ended on that and be cool. Just a cool guy, but no. You gotta give me some shit. I have enough to grow. Nah, I should have saved it and used it for. No, these will do more. Besides, they're self sustaining. Because I need some health back. Ship goes south. Ooh, character. Yeah, there's plenty of these down here. And the boss down here, the big boss, is a uh, kind of rough. So, make any uh, healing tonics you can. I've already got two already because I already because again they start you off with like them big bags. So I'm like, okay, let's fill this up. Which at this point they actually do heal her fully. But yeah, like I said, there's plot over here. Good news, Queen Mercedes. The noblemen to the south have joined our cause. They are heading towards the palace as we speak. Their arrival is imminent. I forgot something because this was another save file. I forgot to do the Ringford shit. So, uh, I remember it for next time. Sorry about that. Queen Mercedes. Please beware the Belder River Handler. If he cloaks himself in darkness, there is no stopping him. If this happens, please do your best to get away. Heed his warning. Alright, I gotta get out of here and go all the way over here. Um, that other one, the recipe, I believe? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So down to this boss, across these two rooms, and up to the main boss. That's the plan. Going frog hunting again because coming back to the area because the frogs all appear. Which by now are pretty easy to take out. Just one or two hits. Damn it. She doesn't have much stun in her attacks for normal enemies. Is also her big problem. So it really emphasizes the keep away. But like I said, it's kind of the Kind of a double-edged sword in that they won't let her stun, but they'll let her do like amazing damage later on. You saw what I shredded that boss's health when he stood still, just... You know. If the enemy lets you give... If the enemy gives you an inch, take the fucking mile and then some. You just wreck him. See another one. Unfortunately, as good as piercing shot is, I can't do that in the air either. Otherwise, they'll these, all these fucking bitches will be dealt with. Level 2, I gotta run this off. Ow. Do I have... Yes, I do. Come up a little. Try and keep some of these for, uh, growth shit later. What, free milk? Yeah, okay. That'll help with my level a little bit, because I can make a yogurt. I wonder how many materials i gotten. Okay, I think I can drop one now. The only four stars. I've noticed that in playing through, it's, a. Uh, if it's four stars, usually it's like two waves of enemies. Five stars gives you like the full three. I wonder if that's another thing the, uh, what you call it, will change. Who knows? I do notice like you fight some enemies and some bosses and they'll tell you what level they are. I think they change this around because it's all, I think it's all one big number. So your, uh, magic meter and your health meter might be shared in a way or something like that. I definitely saw skill trees, which is a dragon's crown thing, so... I remember seeing that, like, the very first trailer for this game when this was first announced, when I first heard of it. I was like, oh shit, skill trees, so... 
Hopefully there's a thing that makes her faster, or they just make her faster outright. I, I don't even know what they would do with the... I wouldn't see with skill trees. I wouldn't think it possible, but... Lo and behold. But there was like a boss she was fighting. It was like, um... It was a fiery enemy. It was like a f uh, fiery, um... Little person on, uh... Top of a chocobo-esque enemy? So I'm assuming it's like in the Vulcanon lava pit. And you can see at the bottom, the boss's level was like level 28 or something like that, so... I wonder if they'll do the thing with like Dragon's Crown and just you can revisit any area like for like uh, trophy purposes. Like beat this enemy without getting hit because, you know, I, I didn't even think of that shit. I just noticed trophies. That's a thing too. I'm so glad that's coming to PS3 so I don't have to wait to get that one. I, uh, I just wanted to replay this again to kind of get up to speed. But here's my other recipe pot. Oh, phew, or however that's pronounced. I apologize. Chicken. Character turning an aerial coin, pretty decent, 2800 experience, HP plus 15. And again, I'm usually on top of the whole text thing, but I forgot to do it when I was trying to grind through a little bit and I forgot to change it. I'll do it now before I fight the boss, so I'll see you there. Quite the spectacle. You are totally surrounded. Tis only a matter of time until your small number of allies have been repelled. Give it up. You are no leader. Once I become the king, and if you choose to obey me, I shall allow you to live as I am a man indebted to the former queen. I refuse. Then I have no choice. Lord Melvin. What is it? It... it's a fraud. I don't understand it. That disgusting creature appeared in the palace and the troops are disoriented. Oh, I can't rely on you for anything. Tis useless to try to figure out what I have done. That jeweled bow that you hold is extremely powerful. But be warned, you are not the only one who wields a cipher. Oswald! Why not test the Belderiver? On the Queen herself. First time ever fighting this guy. We've seen him a lot in a Gwen story. It's the first time we're actually... I guess we're on the other end. Maybe... Well, I guess we'll go into the story. I'm thinking, like, she's still down and he's still doing bidding of other people? Oh, where are you? Yeah, because it's... Ah, oh, damn. Oh, he's already on me. Can't stun him. Alright, are you the... Okay, you're the one with the bow. Uh-oh, he's going Shadow. Gotta take you out. Leave the other fairy be. Take out the mage. The mage is gonna is what's gonna make this fight even harder because she's gonna go and heal him. He's doing a shadow shit, so I gotta keep away from him as best I can. Ooh, because eventually it's gonna run down. Oh, oh, keep away, keep away. Oh shit, there's another one. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, oh, great. God. I gotta use one of my, uh, two potions. Glug, glug. Ow. Oh, see, right there, he knocked it out of me. Damn it. Tried to double jump over him, but I flew. Damn it. Damn it. But yeah, if you just focus on the mages and just leave them be, they won't be healing her. You'll just have to deal with the occasional one. Don't take them out. He doesn't take that much damage when he's all shattered up like that. Fuck. Damn it! Whatever, I'll take the other one. 
I have invincibility frames. Now he's wide open. Again, he's not too tough. He does hit hard, but it's his friends that make him annoying. Wow, I got him on the last volley. Nice. Yeah, so level up. Make sure you got potions. It shouldn't be too hard. Again, focus on the mages. Your Majesty, the rebellion has been suppressed. Where is Melvin? He fought to the end, and he has returned to the heavens. Someone reported seeing his Shadow Knight being taken by Aholia. I see. Hey! <sighs> Don't kill the frogs here. They're really fairy soldiers. This medicine will return them to normal. Did you change Melvin's soldiers into frogs? Yes, I slipped a little transformation potion into their drinks. Well, now that your reinforcements have arrived, it's time for your promise. As you see, I am a frog now, but I was originally human. However, it seems my curse is slightly different. I've tried already, but that potion won't cure me. As far as I know, a kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. You are fairy royalty, so I assume you are powerful. What? So, that's my wish. What? Uh, I can't. I can't put my lips on a slimy, poisonous frog. Can the Queen of the Fairies go back on her word? I, I need to prepare myself. Just give me some time. Huh. So now we know what the wish is. Melvin has been routed, so we don't have to deal with his ass anymore. Let's see where we stand in the story. Did all that. Right here's chapter two, the rebellion. While at the same time, she's uh, off to fight the uh, forest witch, Velvet. So they do that thing. And there was a thing she's already captured, and we still ended off with that. Melvin ends the rebellion. Watson thought is disturbed by the frog. Yeah, so. Nothing from uh, Cornelius at the time, but it looks like he's coming up back again for the next chapter we'll be doing. Your Majesty, the remaining rebels have been arrested. The soldiers who were merely following orders should be pardoned. As for the lords who commanded them, if they swear fealty to your highness, shouldn't we mitigate their punishment? Yes, I agree. Oops, sorry about that. I didn't take care of a little something real quick. Oh, are you ready now? N no, not yet. What a tease. I gotta get your... wish calling her names, man. Jeez. Queen Mercedes, rest assured, the chaos in the kingdom is subsiding. Although she did kind of promise. Your Majesty, you used to love going frog hunting, but now you travel everywhere with a frog. Yes, it's a real pain. Um... It's hard to explain. Huh? <gasps> Puka! To celebrate the Queen's victory, I'll let you visit the Puka village. Yay! Just you and me. How about it? Sorry, I just like that we get this early. With our brand new recipes we just grabbed. It's awesome. Oh, he sells warmers too. So. Once again, take the hint and... Get the uh, ice proof charm. Is 
as you probably may or may not know by now if you've been keeping up with this LP. We're off to the Winternorn Ridge next. Unfortunately, we can't um, grind back at Ringford. That's closed off to us, so I can't get more uh, more of them easy um, characters to get more healing potions. Although, there is a chance that some of them here, it's just way lesser. You get more onions down here. But there are some characters, so it's okay. There's plenty of quick grow to go around as well. When our fairies can heal the intense cold, they probably don't like it unless they're... Well, she's not an ice fairy. She's definitely forest all the way down here, so... Ooh. Better put on some pants or them little tips here are gonna turn blue. Next time on Let's Play Odin's Sphere.